Hello guys and welcome to another video. It's been quite a while since I put one out and today we'll be looking at Terra. It's just going free to play in the next month or so uh, from what I've heard and that's pretty much the only reason why I've had a look at it before the subscription was quite expensive. So at the moment we're looking at the character create screen. We've got the humans which is a must almost in all these kind of uh, MMO games and they look quite sort of normal obviously human like then the castanic which were the, the previous ones which are demonic sort of quite cool looking guys these rock lava sort of beings I'm not too sure how you describe them they're sort of giants and they look pretty cool I like the guys the ladies look a little weird got quite small heads but it's not too too bad anyway let's have a look see here's the humans better look at the humans just because we missed them or went over them quite quickly some of the races you can be both males and females which is always handy I think there's three classes on this where you can only be one sex and they're coming up in a bit here's the first of them which is the Popori, which is quite a, a cute little guy. I don't know. He looks like a, a raccoon come hamster or something very bizarre, but I do like it and he's got a nice little outfit Certainly like their ears and now on to the female only which is the Ellen which are the cute little very bunny kind of characters, very anime -y, which are always nice and they sound quite vicious according to their description That's how cute they look anyway and then the Baraka, these are the quintessential sort of earth looking rock men they're pretty nice, I wouldn't pick one personally I think they look a bit too thick which is possibly because of the the rock aspect <laughs> but other than that it's not too bad and then onto the high elf which um, is probably the most questionable look of all of them especially the men they look fairly feminine to say the least I think uh, the females look nearing as manly as they do but certain characters I could see it working quite well with a priest or a mage a lot of the magic sort of races or classes rather and I think for the first character just to try out I'm probably going to go for a castanic and a lady one because I really like the way they look I think that demonic sort of devil lady is something you don't see too often in games and now we jump on to the warriors I mean the sorry the classes that you can actually be the basic warrior this one said it does damage as well as the ability to tank but it does say that tanking is extremely hard and surprisingly they wear leather armor which is quite interesting when it comes to warriors when you look at all the other MMOs they don't the Lancer is another a really cool looking class something straight out of monster hunters really big weapons huge shields it's a tanking class that uses very heavy armor which is obvious you got the huge shield there and I know someone that played that and they said they were good fun the Slayer is quite an interesting one a huge sword that uses hard hitting attacks pretty much like a DPS warrior in most other games like World of Warcraft the Berserker is quite an interesting one it says that it deals massive damage and can block incoming frontal attacks but they lose MP quickly when not attacking so I'm not too sure what kind of class that would be like to play it has the various stats on there that suggest how you would play it, sort of support, etc. Now a bit more 
of an obvious class, the sorcerer, which is like a mage in most of the other one. It uses range damage attacks, and it says on there it does high damage with big nuke attacks. The archer, which is a highly mobile range class. I wonder if it has any melee sort of melee abilities. It'd be quite interesting to try out. But it does look quite an interesting class. I do like most of the sort of archer, sort of bowmen, hunters, that kind of classes. The priest is a, a healer, but it also says you can actually use the same power to uh, that you use to revive enemies to smite your foes, so shadow, sort of damaging priest is always good fun. A mystic here, they are a support, it looks like they're a support class. They have abilities to buff and auras and they also summon some mighty thralls to assist and heal them and aid in battle. So that would be quite interesting and if you sort of compare it to World of Warcraft, Warlocky or something like that. I think to try this I'm gonna go for a, probably I think a Slayer, just to see what it's like because something very simple just to test out the basic game mechanics. It is free at the moment so I want to I've got a week free and then it goes free to play next month so I'd like to see what it's like whether it's even worth playing when it goes free to play so yeah we'll go the Slayer then and now have a look at how you can actually customize your character they've got pre-built um, presets that have um, quite a nice bit of variety they all sort of look different that's quite a a fugly one but otherwise they all look quite good quite nicely done and all the the variety is actually quite good and they all seem to go together well which is not always the case so let's have a, a little look at what you can do to customize them further so the hair and the horns in this case are all customized are customizable they look like they're being paired a hairstyle and a set of horns. That one is quite a nice one so we'll probably be picking that. But let's have a look a little more detail in some of the other ones. Some slightly more demonic horns, some bigger pointier ones. Those ones look a bit too ear-like and they look a bit like jewelry so we might not go for those ones. quite a hard decision always but I gotta remember I'm probably not gonna play with her so I'll just go for one and let's have a quick look at the hair colors hmm, they make quite a, a nice change some nice bright colors like that so which is always enjoyable All right, we'll go with something quite nice and simple and the faces they look quite similar on the whole I can't remember which one was the first face I picked, so we'll have to pick another one. Something like that's alright, or let's see. Yeah, we'll go with that one. As, and here the adornments, which looks like just makeup on her. Um, nothing too interesting, actually. They, it doesn't change too much. A bit of lipstick, and that's about it. Just go with something that matches her hair, and then let's have a look. Normally, I don't bother fiddling with those because you end up getting quite a, a bizarre-looking character at the end of it all. I wonder if these are the starting clothes you pick. That's quite a nice rig one. That's nice. We'll probably go for. Hmm, it's a tough choice, but I think we'll go for. For this one. Now the voices. Not a big fan of the really high pitch ones, nor am I a fan of the fairly butch sounding ladies, so we'll go for an in between. And naming's always difficult, I wonder how many have actually been taken. Let's see, let's try one that I've used previously. Yep, that 
that seems fine. Sapphira, always a nice simple name and it can go with sort of most of these. So let's see if that's available. And it is. So that's done with the character creation. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be doing some more of the gameplay possibly tomorrow. Well this is quite an interesting thing that you can pick between the controller and the keyboard which I'll have to check out but I'll be doing the gameplay video tomorrow so if you like what you see come back and check that out and thanks for watching goodbye